This is the Ratio 6, a coffee maker that I've really fallen in love with over the last month or so. And I've liked it so much that I want to share it with you because I found it really hard to find information about or videos about on YouTube. There's a few, but I would really have loved to have seen some more information about this before I bought it, especially because of its price. So I wanted to share with you some of the things that I love about the Ratio 6 and some of the things that I found kind of frustrating about it, to use a word from James Hoffman, so that you can decide for yourself if you need a coffee maker like this to integrate into your morning routine. I always find it really frustrating when people do some sort of product review or talk about a product and don't use it. So I'm going to make some coffee, which is great because I actually haven't had my morning cup of coffee yet and it's definitely time. So I've pre-ground some beans and I have some water here and I'll just show you how it works. So obviously we need to fill the water craft. There's this nice stainless steel piece up top. This is one of my least favorite parts of the coffee maker is that the water carafe is actually in the middle of the machine. So it's a little hard to get water into, which is weird. I wish that it would have filled the entire space back here. So it would just be really easy to pour even got some water on the side of the machine. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm filling to the four cup mark, which is something that I really love about this. I typically make like a pour over by hand, but it's frustrating to make those again and again and again when my wife wants one or I want a second cup. And one of the reasons that I wanted a machine like this in the first place was so that I could just make four or six cups of coffee at a time and make good tasting coffee, which this definitely does. So let's put this top back on. This is the uh, coffee basket. It just uses normal paper filters. We'll put 40 grams of coffee in here. You could pre-wet the filter, but honestly, it tastes fine, especially with these non-bleached filters. Instead of the basket sitting on top of the coffee maker, like a lot of them do, it actually just sits directly on the carafe. And then to save heat, it has this additional piece, which goes on top of this, that has a rubber gasket on top so that there's no heat loss as the coffee is being made. So we'll put it in. It's a little annoying to put in because of that rubber gasket, but if it's keeping the coffee warmer for longer, it's worth it. That's it. That's all that you have to do to make this coffee. There's a button right here. I push it. Now it's going to start making coffee, which is pretty incredible. It's a great way to save myself a bunch of time in the morning and still make sure that I have a really good tasting cup. Now, there's one more piece that I'll talk about as it's making the coffee, which is a plastic piece that you're supposed to put the coffee basket on so that you can get this carafe out. It's kind of strange, but I think it makes sense because you don't want this leaking or getting anywhere else. And it's also keeping it from dripping down if it would have been like attached at the top as many other coffee makers are. I think it's actually a pretty smart thing and it's not too annoying to have this extra piece of plastic sitting on my countertop. I don't mind it that much. The coffee is being made right now. It's very quiet. That's as loud as it ever gets. What's great about this coffee maker is that it's essentially doing the same thing as a pour over. It has a special shower head on the top that's evenly distributing the water on the coffee and also letting that coffee sit through a bloom period so that it, it extracts as much flavor out of there as possible. I've definitely noticed that that bloom is important, that this coffee just tastes better than other coffee maker coffees, even if those coffee makers are quite well made. While it's making this, I'm going to get myself a cup. It's almost done. I've never actually just watched it making coffee. It's quite meditative, actually, the water going up from this area into the shower heads, like got this lava lamp quality that I kind of enjoy. You can see some condensation has formed around the top. Uh, it's not letting a lot of water out, but it's definitely letting some out. And this is actually one of the issues now that we see that the coffee is ready, is that when you bring this coffee out, it kind of pops water everywhere as you move that rubber gasket. And maybe I'm 
doing something wrong. I can't necessarily tell, but I think I'm doing it right. And I think that's just sort of the price you pay for retaining heat as well as this thing does. So we'll move this over here. And now we have our carafe of coffee, our basket that's no longer necessary. And this has a special top that you put on top to make sure that everything's insulated and that no more heat escapes. As you can see, I mean, this was great, right? Like not a lot of work to have made this coffee. The coffee machine doesn't really require any cleanup. And this is this black model. And you'll probably notice in this video that especially in the light, there's evident like water spotting and little pieces of dust. I mean, it's hard to keep a matte black finish looking good. And that's sort of the price you pay for wanting matte black stuff in your kitchen, which I do, so I'll deal with it. And I mean, it's not typically getting hit by the light. I'm not scrutinizing it. It looks fine on my countertop and I like this version. But if you don't want that, there's also a white version that might be better for you. To pour the coffee, you have to go pretty far. That's just a little bit of water leaking out from cleaning it. You push the button and it pours. It's not the cleanest pour of all time. Again, maybe I'm, I need to perfect my technique. Uh, we got a little, got a little coffee on the, the countertop, a little coffee's leaking down, but it's drops. It's not a ton of coffee. This is going to stay hot for hours. This is one of the reasons that I got this is because my wife and I have very different schedules. I'm the early bird. She's the night owl. And so I wake up very early in the morning, want a cup of coffee very early in the morning. She wakes up a couple hours later than me, and the coffee that I was making would, of course, always be cold. This stays warm for her. It's not piping hot by the time that she wakes up, especially if it's a few hours, but it's plenty warm for her needs, and it's much better than microwaving a cup of coffee or something like that. It's great. Every time it makes really wonderful coffee because of the shower head that it has, because of the bloom that it gives it, because it's just high quality machine. I don't feel like it's leaching any plastic. I don't feel like there's any points in which it's losing heat or losing flavor. It's simple. It's great. It works really, really well. And that's what I was trying to find out when I bought this machine and I couldn't. So. I'm sharing it with you in case you're interested. Now, this machine is expensive. I think it's $329, which is a lot of money to spend on a coffee maker, especially when you can get pretty good ones for under $100. I decided it was worth it for me because it's something that I touch every day. It's part of my morning ritual. I wanted it to feel premium. I wanted it to feel good. I wanted it to make good coffee. If I use it for a year, I'm renting it for a dollar a day less than that. I'm going to use it for longer than a year. So it feels like a good return on investment for me, but maybe it's not for you. I'll show you my previous coffee maker so that you can kind of see the comparison between what I was using and what this is and, and sort of why I upgraded. This is what I was using before. This is a Bonavita Metropolitan, and it's actually a very good machine, especially for its price. Compared to the ratio, this is like $85 or something like that. It's great. And it makes a really good cup of coffee. It has a more traditional method. It has this brew basket up top. It has a glass carafe. It has this space for water, just like this. This one actually I kind of like more than the ratio six because it's to the edges. So it's not difficult to get the water in here, but it just doesn't make as good of a coffee as the ratio six. It makes great coffee, but it doesn't make as good of a cup of coffee as the ratio six. And this whole experience just doesn't feel as nice to use every day. This is very clearly cheap plastic. It feels a little wobbly using it every day, putting this in and out. It feels like something could potentially break here. Not that it would, but just that it could. And then it does have a bloom feature, which is really important to me, but it's hidden in a setting that you have to like hold this power button down to turn on and then it's on forever. 
But then one day, like my house lost power for a few minutes. And then the next morning I was like, oh my gosh, did it bloom? And I couldn't really figure it out. And just the fact that that setting was hidden was a little weird to me. And then as I mentioned, because my wife wakes up later than I do, this glass carafe was not keeping the coffee hot long enough. It has a heating plate, which I don't necessarily love that much. I feel like that makes the coffee taste burnt over time, but it just automatically turns off way before my wife would wake up anyway, so the coffee would be cold. So I was transferring this coffee to a thermos, which just felt silly. I wanted to just have it in a thermos, which is what I have now with the ratio six. So that's the ratio six. I'm loving this coffee that I'm drinking right now, especially because I have not yet drank any coffee today. I love that I don't have to do anything with this anymore. I'll take the brew basket over to the trash. I'll pop it in the garbage and I'll rinse everything off for tomorrow. It's very simple, very nice. This coffee will be warm for a long time to come. So again, this is the video that I wanted. Maybe it's the video that you wanted. Maybe you came across this channel because you were looking for this, or maybe you just are now interested in upgrading the coffee you're making in the morning. Regardless, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments and enjoy your next cup.